Good afternoon. Do I look stupid, my teeth? And I'd like to introduce myself. I'm the guest host here at the Sandra Sullivan Show. How are you guys this afternoon? Yeah, no, it's me. It's Sandra. What do you think of this look? I'm quite a sexy brunette, don't you think? This is actually my real hair color. <laughs> Hi guys, you know, I just felt really inspired the other day and I thought I'd make another video. Just say hi to y'all, see what's up. And, you know what, I'm a very versatile kind of lady and, you know, I was talking about one thing the other day about the YouTubers I love. I just want to let you know that, um, yes, I'm definitely hooked on YouTube and I spend way too much time on it. I had to get the unlimited high speed data on my phone that it's through, um, my phone company, they have it, you pay extra, and it just is high stream all the time. And I watch YouTube all day, wherever I'm going, I watch it. And, um, but see, I not only, I love the makeup gurus, don't get me wrong. I love Crispy, I love, um, 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 I love, um, Time the Infamous. Um, those are like my two top favorites, and a lot of other ladies. And, um, I buy from BH Cosmetics. I have a lot of, a lot of high-end palettes. I'll share them with you some day. I have all the chocolate palettes. I have a new Tarte palette. I've got a lot of stuff, really cool stuff. And um, I make jewelry. I've shared that with you guys a little bit. And let me see what else. Yeah, I'm, I'm into, really into arts and crafts. And I make, oh, here, let me show you. Excuse me for a moment. Right now, my latest craze, my latest thing that I do is um, art journaling and that's just doing your art in books it takes up much less room and you can do it it's just whatever you want to make it now so this book I made it myself hand sewn and put together I didn't do the best job it was my first one but it's made with watercolor paper that way I can put in depth art on my on my pages so let me let me share with you what I have so far just to out of curiosity. So I made the book and I copied um, um, delusions. Uh, say, oh, see, geez, I have a message. Let's see what the heck. Okay, nothing important. So I, I copied her thing because she puts an envelope in front. You can put all your stuff in there because with art journaling, you put whatever you want in there. You know, whatever you, you know, tickets to the show, your art, you're practicing, you know, sampling paints, whatever. Okay, so it's like this book, one of the first pages. I have another book too, but this is. This is the book I um, made and started. Some of those are stamps by delusions, as a matter of fact, speaking of. That's the name of a company. They make stuff for our, our journal. Second page. I really like this page. And I made this little um, little pocket and the little tag comes out. Yes, there it is. And this is really heavy-duty watercolor paper. The page is stuck together. I need to put uh, something to hold them apart. This side made is everything back from now. It says, um, it says, may we help you? Oh, may we help you? May we help you right now? Anyway, I stuck a lot of different things on there. Like state prison mail from a letter from my friend that's obviously in taking a short vacation. Well, maybe a long one, but. Yeah, any case. Shout out to Matai. I love you. Love you, Matai. Anyway, I doubt I'll get that in the shout out, but I'm putting it in the universe. Okay, this is, says the most beautiful day to start your start and end the day is with a grateful heart. See, I hear you. And that's so true. And you know what? I find that if I don't. If I don't, if I'm not grateful and I don't just stop and pay the universe homage or tell Mother Earth that, and the great mother, just thank her for everything that I'm blessed with, then um, things start going bad. So, you know, that's just a little thing. I, you should always be great, grateful. You know, it makes room for you to have more, by being grateful for things you have. I don't have much, but I'll tell you, I got something finally. It's a surprise, so I'll tell you in a minute. So, yeah, that's one page. Let's go on to the next one. I'm a very grateful lady today. I have almost nothing, but I'm so grateful. I like this page a lot. You see the girl? Now, that was a stamp, too. But, I, you know, I colored her in, and I put the glasses on her. And Can you see her? Right there. You know, I'm blind as a bat. 
As a matter of fact, I get my eye exam and my glasses in Mexico so cheap, so cheap, right over the border there. What I would pay for about $400 here for exam and everything, I pay $60 there for, and that's a pair of glasses. I have very strong prescription too. Frames, lenses, six pairs of contacts, and the exam. And I bring him fancy schmancy lenses, and he fills them for me very cheap. This is in Mexico. Stick to one subject, Sandra. Okay, here I was practicing some fonts. Some fonts. Yes, yeah, some fonts. And, oh yeah, I like this one too. Use your brain. Use your brain. Use your brain. Okay. Not your feet. You know, that's a whole other subject. I don't even want to get into feet. Use your brain. I like this one. What does it say? It says at some point, I can't even read it because I went over it. Some things I have written things in there. You can adjust it with a written so you can't hear my feelings and my stresses or whatever. When I'm reading it. I hope you're enjoying this because it might be boring you to death, but I don't give a damn. It's my channel and I'll do what I want to do. Yes, I will. Okay, it says, am I waiting for real life to begin? I'm waiting for real life to begin. Well, that was an interesting page. Or Let's see, we're almost done with this. Lucky you. I think there's one page off in the middle. Oh, and I'll show you too. I made, I made this. I think this is the last page I made. Maybe it's not even complete. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at it a little more. And then I was going to show y'all. Did I say y'all? When I still lived in Florida, I picked that up. I've got pages that open up, so I want to make, I'll make a bigger bigger spreads as they call them and I'm going to start with watercolor painting I have not really painted before that's what I'm going to start doing next time I have some free time right now I'm stressed about money so I have no free time but you know that's why making a video gets my mind off of it so do you like me better as a brunette or a blonde I know I'm just super hot either way but you know tell me what you think see I'm a fantasy girl I can be whatever you want me to be Yes. So, you know what, you guys? Why don't you call me a night flirt? You know, it, we will really have some fun talking. We can talk about subjects that we can't talk about any other time. And um, kind of no limits, you know? So, 1-800-to-flirt. I'm um, Mistress Sandra 51 Or just go on there, um, nightflirt.com, N-I-T-E-F-L-I-R-T.com. And look for Mistress Sandra 51. And then you can call me and talk about anything. You can look at my profile over there. I'm, you know, I like to have a lot of fun. And I'm really good on the phone. And you see, I'm a very, very open, sweet, wonderful person. Gorgeous. I can be a bitch, though. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. My birthday is October 11th. I'm going to be 58. So thank you ahead of time for the birthday wishes. I'm so grateful. So guess what, you guys? I mean, did I mention this? I'm a grandmother now. I have a grandmother. I am so in love with this little beautiful human being. She's so amazing. I miss her so much. I feel terribly guilty because she's out of state, but I'm going to be going to see her soon. And um, yeah, she's so adorable. You have no idea. She's going so fast. She came out here. My daughter brought her out here when she was four months, but I need to get there to see her. So um, I'll be going sooner than I thought because guess what? You know what I was always bitching about? What, what was I always bitching about? Not having a, I bought a car. Used car, yes. And I hope it lasts a while. It was, it was a really good deal I got. It was, it's a, uh, I've got the book right here. It's a 2003, yeah, old car, but it's a, a Kia Sorento SUV, and I got a very good deal. And it's cute, but um, I haven't had a car like in, since I went to prison. That was a while back. I paroled in 2008, so, anyway, anyway, you guys don't know I went to prison, I think I mentioned a long time ago, so, how do you like my outfit today? Oh, my little girdle thing is rolling down, I don't have the best camera set up or whatever, but I'll walk back, and I don't have heels on, and I don't really want to show you my feet, how do you like that? Do you like this? I think it's very flattering on the shoulders here like that, what do you think? I probably have lipstick on my teeth. I always do. I hate these teeth. <clears throat> so, 
what do you think of the brunette? It's really very sexy and sultry, huh? Mm, I think it looks, this is like my own, my, my real hair color. I'm thinking I'm going to grow my hair out. And tomorrow, did I just pick my nose? Yes, I did. You're disgusting, Sandra. What is wrong with you? And then I'm going to eat it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm a little stone, stone, stoned. So, yes, yeah, so, you know, I've watched a lot of videos on, on art. And um, I watched the Frugal Crafter a lot. She's the one watercoloring. I'm watching her. She's very good at that. I'm not good at names or remembering, but I watch a lot of people in the craft community, jewelry making. And, um, and uh, I take a lot of those classes on oh, craftsy.com. I've signed up. I've got like six, seven classes I've taken to jewelry making there. So, you know, I'm not just one big sex machine, sexy, you know, sex symbol, you know, famous, hot webcam girl. I'm just more than that. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, you guys can call me a night flirt because, you know, I don't like when I'm contacted other ways, and I do not like when anyone posts vulgar comments on my page or any of my videos. I don't appreciate that. You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to I don't want to know about how hard anything on your body is. I don't want to hear. You don't need to come on my feet. Just all that shit. Just, you know, I don't need all that. You can say, hello, Sandra. How are you? You look beautiful. You're hot. I would love to just, you know, be next to you and hold you. But all that other nasty shit, I find offensive. I like a, a respectful, mature, sweet, unassuming, humble guy. That's the kind of guy that turns a woman on, you know? Nobody looks an arrogant little punk that thinks he's the bomb and wants to talk smack to you and, you know, always talking like he's somebody. That's not attractive to a female. Humble, humble, humble. That's, there's nothing hotter than a guy that's really cute, but he's not really aware that he's so cute, but he is. And he's so humble and quiet and sweet. That turns me on. That turns me on, for real. And um, some guy just called me. <laughs> He's 22. He started talking to me how much, where, and all that. And I told him, he goes, don't you want to just give me a freebie? I'm 22 years old. I just hung up on him. I just hung up. Let me tell you, folks, the last guy I would choose to be with, you know, if I just had a choice, would be a 22-year-old. Not to mention, I'm in love with someone. I have a husband, and um, I never really speak of him. He is in Mexico, and I go down and see him. We haven't seen each other for many years, but now I go down there regularly to visit him. We've known each other for about 25 years, and um, we have our challenges, but we love each other a lot. We really do, you know. So anyway, he had trouble with immigration. He was in this country since he was 11, I believe, and he went to high school here, and oh, it's just a long story, but he got deported for DUI 12 years ago, so... We have just reunited. This man is the love of my life, the absolute love of my life. So it's been a bittersweet time we spend together. So anyway, let me see. I'm trying to catch you up on my life. I don't, I'm really, I'm being really an open book today. Ha ha. Open book, open book, get it? <laughs> just kidding. Um, I, I was going to tell you something else. So. YouTube. I love to watch the dancers. They have such talented, talented dancers. That really is a big thing of mine. I watch them all day long. I love Wildebeest with um, Wildebeest Adams. Is that his last name? That black guy and his, his lovely girlfriend. Oh, God, what's her name? She's such a talent, too. I can't, why can't I think of her name? She does all those. Um, she choreographs a lot of stuff. And um, I'll tell you her name because, you know, <clears throat> how ghetto. Let me tell you her name. She's right there on YouTube with Wildebeest. Bear with me. I'm just like here on my laptop. I'm just using a damn um, webcam because I don't have a better setup. Now you see me up close and personal. Ah, don't look too hard. Excuse me, I'm drinking a soda. Oh my God, is this shit slow? I'm sorry. I apologize, folks. Well, anyway, I watch her and I'm, I mean, I watch him and I watch, um, this little blonde girl, God, I'm not being helpful at all, am I? Here, I'm going to look her up because I know her name. I'm a little stoned. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me for being stoned. 
God, there's a lot of drama that goes on on YouTube. There really is. And I don't want to really be a part of the drama. You know, like, you know, some people are, have a gift. Like the gentleman I was talking about yesterday. He has a gift and he understands these people and he's able to, he really could help them if people would be open and allow him to help. Me, I can't, it's just too much for me. I mean, he's, he would be very good at that. Although I, I give very good advice to people. You know, I, I, I consider myself a spiritual advisor of sorts. And, um, what am I looking at? What am I doing? I'm retarded. I certainly am. Bands. Dancers. Yeah, they are so talented. Yeah, you know, I should have never smoked pot. I should have written down these names because I'm just having a complete and total brain fart. Okay, I can't remember anyone's names at all. Okay, now I know where he is. At least I've seen him. His, um, this is Wildebeest Adams. I got that correct. And, um, he, let me see where his girl's at. Oh, I like this too. This is his girl too. Wait a minute, just forgive me. Add juice. Janelle Genestra. That's it. She is such a talented choreographer. And, you know, I think she's just an all around entertainer. They're just really very talented couple, and they have lots of talented people that dance like, oh my God, I don't even know how they do it. Then I like this, um, this guy that dances in heels. Anyway, I can't remember anybody's name. Okay, so they're dancing now, so. These guys are really talented. I hope you can see. And she's great. And I can't remember her name either. Okay, let me show you something really extraordinary of theirs. This is it. Here, let me show you this. I'm going to show you something. Very amazing. Okay. Yeah, my shit's really slow. Don't say it. Don't say it. I know it. But I want you to see these people. These people are amazing. Subscribe to them. I can't help but um, say these people are amazing. Where are they from? You should see them perform in um, like live performances. That's his his partner, Janelle Genestra. She's very talented. That's him, I guess. Yeah, that's the both of them. They are a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. How you do what you're from? That's Missy Elliott. Music. And I'm not stealing it or anything. I don't know if I have to. I'm sure. Subscribe to these people, I'm telling you. They are so talented. See, now they're just going to show all these people just doing it right off the cup. Look at these little, these are young, young kids. She's, she's very pretty famous too. No, I'm not gonna break out of the and dance. Almost, almost. I caught myself. Okay, you guys, you know what? Um, let me turn this down now. The reason I came on today.
to make another video is just I need to put out in the universe how grateful I am how grateful I am that I have a roof over my head and yes I told you I have a car um, I have a man that loves me I have a beautiful grandchild you know I don't really you know what I still live in a motel and I haven't even paid for my room today that's how bad it is but you know what I'm grateful these people will not kick me out and I'll have my money before the end of the day um, I'm blessed I'm blessed and I want to thank the goddess and the creator for blessing me with such beautiful amazing children and I pray for my 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 very close a very close person to me I don't want to put his name out there but I pray for him that he finds guidance and peace in his life and he just opens up and that's the only way you can get better honey that's the only way you've got to be honest you know, you, you know, you can lie to yourself over and over. This is for him and for anyone. You know, some people are play, like to play the victim, even when they're not. They don't want to take responsibility for their actions. So instead of doing that, they just blame everyone else. And they blame and blame and lie and lie, and some people to really extremes. And until you can come clean and, and own what you did, or own what you're doing, or own who you are, then you can never, you, you never have any growth. You stay stunted like a little baby and you never grow up, you know, and nobody thinks the less of you when you come clean and you're honest. In fact, everybody will respect you for doing that, you know, and I'm always willing to work with somebody and help them and be there as a support as long as they take that first step, you know, but as long as they want to lie and deny and continue to play a victim and, you know, just cause out the dream. It's everybody else, not them, and everyone's hating them, everyone's mean to them. I don't know if you've ever been around somebody like that. I'm sure you've met, you know, everyone's met someone like that before. It's somebody I love very much, and I can't help him until he takes that step. And it's pretty extreme, you know. He's, I'm afraid he's really going to get hurt because the things that he's doing, you know. And I'm scared for him. So, you know, I, I asked the goddess gods and the creator please put a field of protection around him just you know encase him in love and understanding and please help him to just open up and come clean I'll be here for him we'll be here from him you know if he goes into the program we'll go see him you know but when somebody's that bad I think the only thing you can do is you have to push the guy I mean there's no it, as long as we keep helping him doing things for him he'll never be forced to get better I just don't see it you know, and somebody's been doing that for him for a long time. So he's on his own now. He's got to, got to get help. He, he knows. But it's so sad to watch somebody mess their life up so bad. Just honest, honesty is, like, so important. Honesty, gratitude. Anyway, so, you know what? I figure I have a platform here. Let me send out a message, even if it's a little scattered. You know, I'm just, you know, saying I'm happy. I'm blessed. I have, you know, hobbies that keep me happy. I meet interesting people. I have beautiful children. Um, you know, I have a great love for the goddess. That's my spiritual connection. I have a car now, and it's hotter than hell here in California, but beyond that. Um, I just want to make a video. I'm going on and on, but I just want to tell you guys, God bless you. Be grateful. Life is short. Make it worth it. So y'all, I'm going to shut up now, and I want you all to have a great day. I have to turn off this webcam, and I'm blind. I'm blind as a bat, hence the glasses. So I hope you like my look. My hair, once again, I just, let me show off one more time. I've got this. I can show it to you because it's, it's like a clothes. Absolutely. I can show it to you. It is a vintage style. Okay, I'm going to model it for you. It covers everything. But it rolled down. It's the only thing because I'm a big fat easy. It's a vintage style um, long girdle with um, garters on it. Do you like that? Yeah, that's me. So, yeah, anyway, so, right, one last thing. My birthday is October 11th. I won't mention any wish lists, but you know. And um, I wear a size 10 shoe. I wear a size, I don't know, dresses, I would say a 2X. Or an 18 and who we'll see you know shoes uh, shoes and dresses is all I really need and really need and um, yes I need to get a PO box and put an address down there but I do have the you know what wish list it's there somewhere on my 
Oh, you can just go to my, my, um, you can actually just go to Night Flirt. Go to my Night Flirt. Don't forget, Night Flirt, N-I-T-E-F-L-I-R-T dot com. I mean, we can talk about anything. I mean, anything. If you have any kind of a fantasy or fetish, you think you're so strange, you're not, honey. Trust me. I've heard them all. Guys have a plethora of different kinds of um, fantasy brain activity that goes along with, I mean, it's just pretty random and, and uh, wide variety. So don't, I, I, I want to hear about it. I'm here to talk to you. I don't judge. And I find it all fascinating. So if you want to talk to me, I, I'm, I consider myself a sex expert on many subjects. So um, give me a call, Night Flirt. Tell me what you think of my look. Tell me to shut up. I should have never got stoned before this thing. It makes me talk. Oh my God, did I do that? It makes me talk and talk and talk. Duck. Okay, y'all. Peace be with you. Love you guys.